Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So today we have a Indiegogo project called Audio Mod iPhone case with 3.5mm jack for iPhone. They took your jack, we brought it back, they gave you one charge, we'll give you another. Hashtag Audio Mod. So this one is basically an iPhone case for iPhone 7, 8, or 10 that includes an external battery, basically a battery case, that has a 3.5 millimeter jack on it. So you can still use your headphones without that adapter. Uh, which I am, as an iPhone 7 owner, am all too familiar with. So um, they have some examples here. So this is basically what it looks like. Headphone jack, little battery charger indicator, and then it has actually a, not a lightning port, but a, here it is, a mini or a micro USB, like what you find on an old Android phone, connector. So they have the video. Let's watch the video really fast. It's actually kind of annoying. Yeah. Ignition. Lift off. Hey guys, it's Dylan from Encased, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our latest product, which I'm personally very excited about. Since Yeah, so like I said, a little annoying Eddie Munster here is super excited. And he's in the WeWork, and he's trying to... <laughs> I couldn't charge it because I was using my head... The 8, the X, but this week I was in the middle of a big... This is actually a real problem. I've had this problem with my phone, too, because uh, you've got one port that you got to use for everything, so either you're using it for the hand, hands-free headphones, like this, or you are charging it, but you're probably not doing both at the same time, unless you get some kind of adapter. So basically this case is uh, that adapter plus it extends your battery so it sort of kills double overkills and here's our case it's a high-grade iPhone case that also has a standard audio jack so you can plug in any pair of headphones and you can use your headphones while you charge your phone the case is also a battery pack so that gives your phone extra battery life to last you the in so yeah extra battery pack, uh, got some kind of DSP thing. Just build any headphone jack. Our built-in DSP and DAC chipsets amplify and digitize the signal to give you premium audio quality, which is usually reserved for high-end expensive headphones. It's probably our best product yet, but it's not our first. Here at Encased, we've manufactured and sold thousands of quality iPhone accessories on Amazon. We even created a Bluetooth adapter that makes your Bose so yeah, so apparently these guys make cases. Um, I'm sure just order them from China from all the manufacturers there who make everyone else's cases. You can use any headset you'd like and charge your phone while you're at it. But most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, the jack is back. Now, in order to bring this product... Okay, so um, at least they're pretty honest here. The guy, okay, jack is back. That's kind of annoying too. Um, but they basically say, he says right here, like, uh, you know, we sell millions and millions of dollars worth of cases on Amazon, so why do I need to be on Indiegogo? So ba basically, they're just trying to get some demand going. They're they're trying to gauge demand by getting people to pre pre-order. To market, we need to hit our crowdfunding goal to secure enough demand. Be the first one to get the audio mod for your iPhone. So at least he's not pretending like they need the money uh, to make it happen, um, like, in order to fund it. Uh, or to develop it. So uh, they're apparently halfway there because $10,000 goal is actually pretty low. Um, so clearly, you know, these guys have the resources or they're just bullshitting you. Let's see. Uh, at least they're not asking for like a huge amount um, and then uh, running off with it, hopefully. So uh, let's look at it real quick. So $50 for the early bird. That's not so bad. You know, you're getting basically the case plus the battery um, and they go through down here. Uh, so it depends on what size case you're getting and obviously what model. So if you're getting like the 7 Plus or 8 Plus, it's actually a pretty huge battery because your phone already has a huge battery and it's a huge phone. Um, so just on the stats, it sounds okay and they try to play up how good the audio is and stuff like that, but I don't know if that's a really big deal. Like, is it going to sound better than the phone would automatically? Like, with if I just put the headphone straight into the lightning... Um, or if I used Apple's adapter, does it sound better? I don't know. I, does it need to? Um, they also make a power bank version too, I guess. Um, 
So the question is, you know, okay, so this is kind of an important big deal for if you're just getting an iPhone 10, but the iPhone 7 Plus, which I've had now for a year and a half or whatever, um, I've been dealing with <laughs> with this jack thing, and it, you get over it, but it's still kind of annoying once in a while. Um, it's not the end of the world because the battery lasts so long. Actually, it's not a big deal, but but uh, you know, so this is not a new problem, and the jack is back. They took our jack, whatever. Um, but let's look at what else is out there. So I was just Googling a little bit, and it turns out they are not, in fact, the first Indiegogo project to bring back the jack. Um, bring, I mean, literally, bring back, bringing back the audio jack, so they don't say that exact phrase. Um, this one raised 200000 bucks, like, fucking a year and a half ago, almost. A uh, year and, and several months. Four months. So, um, that's not new. Oh, the thin case, also more than a year, uh, going on a year ago. Uh, this one basically does the same thing. It's a battery plus, I mean, all these are batteries, right? This one's a battery or not? Maybe this one's not a battery. Um, oh, yeah, double battery life. So it's all basically the same idea. Um, so the question is, is it original or not? Who was the first guy to come up with this? Or are they all scamming? This one's actually kind of cool. It had like a frame so you could turn it into kind of a kickstand um but inevitably you got to check what happened right so let's go to comments rip off from start to end this was 10 days ago this thing was supposed to deliver more than a year ago epic rip off i'm done with indiegogo i would like a refund this guy's still asking for a refund somebody apparently got one uh but it came broken um so they they basically i guess these guys disappeared or something um and let's look at the thin case let's see how the comments go hi scammers what's up scammers are you happy never got this scam and you know i'm sure this links to oh i guess not <laughs> um we've been robbed so yeah these are not good not good feedback so strike one strike two or strike one strike two is it going to be strike three is eddie munster just a ripoff artist well, at least he's only asking for ten thousand dollars that's why i said could be worse um but let's see what's on the market so it turns out you know like i said it's not the first people to come up with this idea and some of them actually apparently are real products so this is from Power Plus Cases, powerpluscases.com. They have basically the same thing. We brought back the jack. They said the same freaking slogan. Um, has the same Apple MFI chip. Works with all eyes. So this is the iPhone 7 version. They have an uh, iPhone 7 Plus, I'm sure. And who knows now? I'm sure they probably have an iPhone 10 and an iPhone 8. Too. So 8 Plus and 7 Plus are almost identical. I think probably the cases all work between them um so the only major difference is that this one uses the lightning cable and this one uses that micro usb and why would you want to actually use the micro usb i'm not sure so you know it's not 2015 despite the fact that your case idea is from 2016 um you know android phones nowadays fewer and fewer are you actually using that port everyone's switching to USB C now because it's better because it can do higher voltage for faster charging. Um, and if you already have an iPhone, like if you don't have this in the case, you're going to need lightning accessories anyway. So why do I have to have both lightning accessory and micro USB um, port, you know, cables just to charge both my case and my thing, right? So, or do I just throw away my lightning cable uh, and only have the micro USB, which means if I don't want to use the case all the time, I'm stuck and I can't charge it. Um, so to me, that's kind of like, well, of all the things to put on there, why the micro USB? You clearly had to get a lightning port to interface with the phone so you could get the female version um, for the charging. I don't know why they need that. Uh, there's probably no good reason. So anyway, um, bad idea, bad idea, good idea. Apparently it works, looks like it's real. This is a real company has 
almost all the same stuff. So this one is a 2400 milliamp hour, I think it said. Um, and the audio mod for the iPhone 7 was 3000. So this one claims to have a bigger battery, but this one only said double. And I think this is already 122% or whatever. So, um, you know, at this point, what's that? 600 milliamp hours. Uh, the other thing I should note is these guys actually give, some of them at least, give dimensions uh, and weights and whatnot. The audio mod does not, partly because these are all different dimensions. So rather than maybe ex explicitly staying, uh, stating, they don't actually state what the dimensions are. So you don't even know how thick it really is. Um, that's kind of not good, but um, I guess you can take Eddie Munster's word for it. Um, and there's actually a bunch on Amazon too. So if you just do a search for like iPhone 7 headphone jack case, um, you can see that there's tons of these things. Uh, it is important to note that these, and some of these are quite cheap. Um, it's important to note that, uh, basically you really got to read the fine print on these things to make sure you're getting something equivalent. So, uh, some of these ones like this guy, I read through, uh, and I'm sure a bunch of the other ones. It has a headphone jack, but it's not a hands-free jack. Does that make sense? So in other words, uh, it doesn't do the microphone and you can't do phone calls through it. It only is like a sound output, meaning that you can listen to music through it. And it in this one, it says it explicitly like five times throughout the thing, just so you don't f misinterpret it. Um, there's just tons and tons of different ones. This one actually looks a little bit better. It's $36 instead of $49. Um, this one does not say that it has that headphone limitation, if I remember correctly. Um, but there's also a bunch that use Bluetooth. So this is actually interesting. Like, is it better or worse? So basically, uh, this thing connects to your phone through Bluetooth so that the music and whatever else that you want to output out through that headphone jack, uh, any audio, actually doesn't go through the lightning port, you know, whatever. It goes through the it goes through the Bluetooth into the case and then the case puts it out through the uh, through the um, headphone jack. So is that better or worse? I guess you have to make sure it pairs right. Um, so some of them, I don't even think I have the link open. Uh, there's actually some that have actual buttons on the back that you can use for like iPod control. So basically shuffle and all that kind of stuff. So instead of putting it on, you know, on here, uh, they put it on the case, which is actually kind of cool. I guess as long as this thing actually works too. Um, these things also don't really state explicitly whether all the... Uh, you know, volume up and down and things will work on this. And I guess if it's doing through Bluetooth, probably not. So you need to be careful about that too. So it's cheaper, but maybe not as good. The audio mod claims that it actually does do the pause, play, and skip from the mic function on this thing. So it claims that it does that. This one does not claim it does. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Uh, this one... If it's doing Bluetooth, it should be able to do pause and play and skip. But I don't know if it can do volume up and down. Because um, I know like Bluetooth speakers and things can do pause and play. Um, anyway, so one cool thing actually with this guy, which is you know not exactly relevant because it's not on the audio mod, but maybe cooler, is this one actually has a freaking micro uh, SD card slot on it. So um, yeah, you can actually... <laughs> You can actually uh, store extra files and has some kind of managing app that can be used to uh, transfer files and stuff. But that's actually pretty cool. So you could, you know, save, like, just imagine you're going on a long flight. You save, like, a, but a, a bunch of movies or TV shows on here, um, videos, whatever, pictures. And uh, you can use it like a flash drive with the battery extender and the headphone jack. So you could basically sit there and, you know, consume data and I mean consume movies and and uh, and run your battery for like a whole 20 hour flight from Australia to LA or something like that 
So that's actually kind of cool. Um, it would be cool if Audio Mod had that, but uh, don't hold your breath. Um, but basically, I think the big thing is, are these guys actually going to make it happen? Are they for real? Um, this is their first crowdfunding ca campaign under this name, at least, on this account. So it's hard to tell. Uh, they got 100 backers already in like a couple days. They've got uh, basically three weeks left. I'm going to give this one, you know, price is okay. Delivery date supposed to be pretty soon. Uh, this one's definitely not going to happen. I think March 18th is pretty, you know, because this thing's not even going to end until March. What the heck? So um, let's say more likely May. Um, yeah, I guess the first one, super early bird iPhone case. Super early bird. Oh, they had the power bank. That's what it is. Power bank's 59. Anyway, so I'll give it a tentative thumbs up. Uh, but you do have to be careful. Don't don't get your hopes up because it, it's crowdfunding, which means it could disappear. Um, so the jack is actually already back, but these guys are bringing the jack again. I guess if nothing else, you know, probably some of these ones. I didn't even look. Like, if you have iPhone X, what does it say? Are there some? I'm sure there's some of these, too, that have a 3.5. Or you just get one of these. Just get one of these. It's freaking 1159. 11, 1150. Um, so, yeah, there's some of these that, that have 3.5. I don't even see it. Anyway, that's enough for today. You guys are getting annoyed at me. Just get one of these things. <laughs> okay. See you next time. Do follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Go Kick Me. Oh, yeah, here's one explicitly. $79, and it's water-resistant, and it's got the headphone jack, and it does wireless charging. Uh, they didn't talk about wireless charging. That's a good point. Um, so consider the Tam Dan instead. Um, but anyway, um, that's it for today. Check us out, Twitter, Facebook, yada, yada, yada. See you next time here on Go Kick Me.